everybody. It's Michelle and I've got another gift in a jar mix for you guys today and I really think you're going to love this one. I'm going to show you guys how to make a gift in a jar mix for cream sickle cookies and I think these are so good and what's going to give us that orange flavor like the cream sickle pops is tang drink mix in our cookie mix and you guys know that with gift in a jar mixes I really like to do ones whenever possible that are so simple and I only have to have water added because if I'm giving this as a gift I like to give all of the ingredients whenever possible and not have to require much of the recipient to have to add to that and with cookie mix unfortunately you can't really do that as far as I know you're always going to have to add at least egg and butter so when I do a cookie mix and I am going to have to require some added ingredients from the recipient. I like for it to be something really special like the creamsicle cookies. And they're an orange flavored cookie from the Tang. And they're going to have the white chips in those. And they are so delicious. I think it would also be very good to mix this up a little bit with the white chips and different flavors of drink mix. You can get this in grape lemon, fruit punch, cherry, about anything that you want. And those different fruity flavors is going to make it very special too. But I really wanted to do the creamsicle. That's one of my favorite flavors. So you're going to need a one quart cannon jar in the band and a lid. So I'm just going to go ahead and run through this for you guys and toward the end of the video I will put the full recipe on the screen for you so you'll be able to pause on that and write everything down if you want to do that. So the first thing we're going to be putting is one and three quarter cups all purpose flour. And I'm going to put a funnel in there to help me out a little bit. And there's one cup of the all purpose flour going in. And here is the other three quarter, but before we add that in, I want to go ahead and put my baking powder and baking soda in with that, and it'll kind of get mixed in in our jar mix. So it's just a half teaspoon each. There's a half teaspoon of baking soda and a half teaspoon of baking powder. And stir that in a little if you want to and then just put that right in Woo. <laughs> and that will all get mixed in with the flour in the mix and I always like to tap it down and make sure that we've got a nice flat layer so that it's pretty and layered for our gift presentation in the jar. And the next thing we're going to add is a half a cup of our orange tang mix. And then three quarters of a cup of white sugar. And that gets our orange stripe right in the middle. And I think that looks so cute. And then the last thing is one and a half cups of our white morsels. So there's one. And a half. And we're just going to tap that in until they all go and that fills it up to the brim just tap it down until they all fit and that's going to keep it snug in the jar too so how simple was that recipe I just love that so then we're going to put on our lid 
and then we'll be ready to decorate it up. Okay, so to decorate it up, you're going to need something decorative over the top. And I'm using a piece of blue fabric here with some orange and yellow and red designs in that. And I thought the orange would help us play up that orange in the tang. And that's cut in a 7 inch circle. So whatever about that size that you guys want to use to decorate it up. And I'm going to be using one of these small hair rubber bands to put around that. And that's just going to help hold it temporarily while we can get our other decorations on there. And I like the 7 inch size. I think that's about perfect. So if you all want, if you guys want to use a square, those work out very pretty too. They have the points where the square corners are. But I'm using this circle today. And I'm going to be tying a bow around that with just some regular shiny ribbon and a sort of a matching blue color that I got from Walmart. And I'm going to cut off a couple of feet probably. And I'm going to tie a bow around the neck of my jar here. I don't know if it's just me, the way I tie the bows, but they always want to settle in upside down from the way I tie them. Okay. I think that looks good. Sort of a country blue color. I think that's really cute. Okay, and for, in my opinion, the best part is the tag that goes on there. You know that we always have to include a tag that tells what kind of mix we're giving and instructions on the back so that the recipient will know what to do with that when we give this as a gift. And I came up with the cutest idea. I'm really proud of this. I created a tag for my creamsicle cookie mix that looks like a creamsicle pop. I think that is so cute. I was so proud of this tag. I've got the instructions on the back there for how to make the cookies and what they'll have to add. And it's sandwiched in with a layer of white fun foam with a little bite taken out of it. And I thought that was so cute that I wanted to do a separate video on just the tag alone. So I will have a video coming up for you guys, hopefully right after this one, showing you how I created this tag. I thought that was just so fun. And I've left my baker's twine here long enough that I can go all the way around the jar. I'm going to work up under my bow here. And I can go around the jar and back to the front. Well, actually, one thing I almost forgot. I want that to dangle down a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up about an inch from where that comes through the card and I'm going to tie a knot right there. And that's going to allow us that little bit of space for the card to dangle. Okay, so now we can go around the jar and see how that knot stops right there. And it gives us that little bit of dangle. And we've got enough string to come all the way back around under my bow. And I'm just going to tie these in a knot 
because I feel like my blue bow is all we need going on with the bows. I'm just going to let that dangle down there. So there's your creamsicle cookie mix gift in a jar. So you guys be sure to comment below and let me know what you think. I think these cookies are delicious. If you guys give them a try, be sure to let me know what you think of them. If you try other flavors, let me know how that goes too. And be sure to stay tuned for my next video coming up on how I created the tag. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, be sure and click the subscribe button. Also click the bell next to that to get notifications when I upload a new video. Give me a like over on my Facebook page and join our Facebook group, Crafty Minds. Follow me on Pinterest and Instagram and don't forget to visit my blog. I'll put the links to all of those in the description below so be sure and check them out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.